Okay, phone. What time is it? 8:34. 8:34 cellular time here at the uh, at Kennewick, Washington. I'm at the 46th North latitude, 119th West longitude, and here's our sunspots and the position of them, and we're having some really good smoke filled skies. I have absolutely no filter on this P900. This is just the natural smoke particles, not natural, but the smoke particle filter in the Atmos plane. So I'm just recording this so other people can perhaps look at the relation of them sunspots uh, one of my viewers mentioned it to me yesterday I don't know if he's a regular viewer or just happened to be on my channel I really don't know and but it's a really good idea for someone else to perhaps take images of the locations of them sunspots Because this is just uh, pretty good footage here of that sun. There, like I said, there's absolutely no filter on my camera, folks. None whatsoever. And uh, we're zoomed in all the way. It's right there. I'm going to try to get the sunspots to where they'll follow the... Uh oh there we go I think I got it so we're in full zoom on the p900 there's one sunspot coming in I think I'm too low folks Another one coming in. Yeah, the third one's above us, I think. Above these two. My observation serves me correctly in my mental mind stability. No, it's right there in line. It is coming in. It's below. Where is it? Sure is. And as the sun's getting closer to us, it's getting brighter as it's, there's less atmospheric distortion from the smoke. I'm, you're literally watching the sun illumination and pattern intensify as the sun is coming closer to us. Battlelite, Battlelite, Bertolite. Looking at Mustang floor mats, 13 bucks. My daughter's car, but. Anyway, I was just giving you guys some sh footage to compare with as one of my viewers suggested them sunspots might be and uh, It's come to my Mind to go ahead and film them Where they are now At what time did you say it was Lacey 830 839 in the morning and say at, sorry folks, I'm trying to get this moved, but at 5.30 this afternoon, I'll shoot them again. That's why I got it zoomed in there so I can get a real good definition of uh, their location. Even though that third one's really starting to fade out now because it's getting brighter and brighter. I 
I ain't got a filter on my camera, so I'm not gonna sit here and film the sun too long. Now that's a breakfast, I'm telling you. Donuts and milk, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. Yeah, they're burning the canal. Yeah. That's, that's where I see all the smokes coming from. And it's making a perfect filter for this uh, sunview. All the way from is it really? Yeah, you can't even see I, I was looking earlier and I thought I seen smoke rising right out of the canal over here. Maybe I was disillusioned. So I really wasn't looking. I just thought, man, it's smoky out here. It must be burning the canal again. It's entered my mind because they usually burn every once in a while. You know what I mean? Burn all the weeds off the side. Yeah. All right. There's about enough sun observation on the location of the sunspots. So with that, I'm gonna shut her down. Upload this. Maybe I'll take that little shot there for a minute. So I can get some relation to it there. Real nice one. 60 bucks? No, it's fucking $175 stand on eBay. I, I looked it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's dancing. It's got a bolt down here. Well, maybe not. I thought it did. It's in the bottom of one. You can fucking adapt it and keep going up. Yeah, yeah. Screw your adapter on so you can get more height than the elevation too. But I don't have the piece. But it's still a pretty nice little tripod. Makes observing the sun and the moon so much clearer. I mean, I'm sitting there with that little uh, Vivitar one and it was all over the place. Especially when you get into the maximum zoom. All right, folks, that's enough. I've, I'm gonna compare my sunspots with everybody else's and like I said, I'll shoot them again this afternoon at about 5.30. Thanks for tuning in. You guys have a